Here we have a 2024 Toyota Sienna Hybrid XLE in the front wheel drive. This is an eight passenger configuration. To get an eight passenger Toyota Sienna, you've got to go for two models, either the LE or the XLE. Now I call this one the almost perfect Toyota Sienna Hybrid because you get all the essential features that you would need and want in a Sienna minivan without going overboard on pricing. This is one up from the entry level LE model. However, this one is a front wheel drive only, which knocks it down a few points in terms of being the absolute best Toyota Sienna hybrid in terms of budget, in terms of convenience, in terms of features but you still get features like the power sunroof, soft hex interior, which I'll show you shortly. So if you're okay with a front wheel drive, this might be the perfect Sienna for you. Coming in at 17 inches, the LE and the XLE grade do share the same alloy wheels. Stepping on into the interior, you're greeted with a beautiful beige soft hex interior. These seats do have the long slide feature. Now you're going to want soft tax if you've got a minivan, especially if you're carrying around kids. This middle seat, which converts it to an eight passenger, does pop out. It's got these little pulleys at the top and also at the bottom of the seat. So you can just pop this seat out of its place, store it away in the back, and then you have a seven passenger configuration. Otherwise, the LE and the XLE grade do both give you this bench option in the middle. Going over to the very back third row, plenty of seating space, plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, similar to that of the Grand Highlanders, but not quite. You got a bit more space and freedom when you're in the back seats here on this Sienna 2024 XLE. Still gives you the 60-48 split as well in the rear seat. Moving over to the back end of this Sienna Hybrid, the XLE grade does give you the power rear tailgate with the kick sensor as well got the 60 40 split take a look at that large opening here on these siennas that's where the sienna gains its points over the grand highlander you've got the lower back of the rear bumper in the plastic trim you've got a couple of side compartments here with some uh, i guess cording to keep everything in place you've got plenty of storage Plenty of room, seven passenger, eight passenger configuration here. The back third row, you can tilt and pull the seat accordingly. I'm actually going to show you guys exactly how to pull these seats down. Let me get rid of these uh, bagged mats and cargo liners and that. And I'll show you just how easy it is to throw these seats down. You could do it in one hand. Check this out. Pop it off. And it stores away into the flooring of your Sienna. So you can have it as so. Still have passengers sitting over there on the driver's side if you need it to be. And check out this. All three seats in the middle row, even that temporary middle seat, all have anchors for car seats. Wow, that is pretty cool. Didn't realize that. Uh, very convenient, especially if you've got a lot of kids. You got your USB ports in the back third row, your cup holders. So now you might understand why the demand is so high on these things. And just to make it clear, this black lettering spelling out Sienna on the tailgate is not a black badge. It actually comes like that from the factory. So pretty cool for the XLE grade and pretty much all of our grades to have that, especially against the white, really makes the back end of this Toyota Sienna pop. Now, yes, it's still quite difficult to actually get a Toyota Sienna. We're hoping for things to change as time goes on and for the Toyota Siennas to be a little bit more on the attainable side in terms of the overall changes from 2024 to 2025. It's a little bit hard to tell exactly what's going to happen. I don't think there's going to be any redesign coming for 2025. Uh, but I do hope and believe that there's going to be some technology updates when it comes to Toyota Safety Sense, multimedia, multimedia screens, and so on. But make sure you subscribe to the Toyota World YouTube channel because you're not going to want to miss all the cool constant content, updates, and videos coming your way.
And underneath the hood, we have a four cylinder hybrid powertrain system giving you 245 horsepower. It's hooked up to an ECVT transmission combined with a 68 liter gas tank, giving you a combined city and highway fuel economy of about 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers, which translates to about 43 miles per gallon. Now, stepping in from the driver's point of view, you're greeted with a somewhat luxurious finish on the interior with this power driver's seat. You're greeted with the beige Softex non-perforated seats. These are heated seats, not heated and cooled or heated and ventilated like the Limited, but let's carry on with the rest of the interior. All right, so when you step on the interior, as I mentioned, this is the XLE grade, so it's not the exact entry level model it's not the top models like the xse tech and the limiteds and so on but the overall feel and flow of the interior is pretty similar across all the models of course except with the le because that's a fabric seat you're just missing a couple of extra features on this xle grade like for example the wireless phone charger typically goes right around here but otherwise, it's quite similar to all the other Toyota Siennas. You've got this touch screen monitor, which unfortunately for 2024 does not yet feature your latest Toyota multimedia featuring the wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, cloud-based navigation capability, and more. You're going to have to connect via this USB port right here to get your um, Apple CarPlay Android Auto going. And then going over to the multi-information display system here, it is the smaller of the multi-information displays. Uh, it does feature Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. We're hoping for 2025 to get at least a 2.5 or the TSS 3.0. That would be pretty cool. Um, this model XLE does feature the auto dimming rear view mirror. Some other features and functionality. It is a leather wrapped and heated steering wheel with the control function just over here to the left of the driver. You've got your automatic high beams. You've got your traction control. This button here will turn on and off the power that goes to your back passenger sliding doors. And this is the button for your fuel. And in terms of multimedia screen, this is pretty cool. This is kind of like your energy flow monitor that shows you on the fly what's happening with your vehicle as you're driving, parking, as you're in idle, as you're on the highway. It lets you know when you're engine braking, when you're, sorry, when you're regeneratively braking that's a hard word to say once and say it correctly um and it's pretty cool to have this information at the tip of your fingers available on the hybrid sienna 2024. the overall functionality of the sienna interior like i just mentioned doesn't really change from model to model you still have plenty of storage here look at this massive compartment and cavity here where you can store all kinds of stuff bags purses wallets uh, what have you in terms of cup holders you've got two large ones over here just in the front you have this nice little slot here where you can rest your smartphone which is pretty neat you've got two more cup holders over here so that's already four just in the front seat and you've got this massive storage compartment or center glove console glove box with two usb ports there now allow me to show you how convenient it could be to actually use these side kick sensors to operate your doors so i don't have the key in my hand just put my foot underneath this little section here with the key in my pocket and the door conveniently open let's see if it works for closing as well yes it does so you can open and close the door 
all by using just your foot if you've got the key on your person. Pretty cool. Some more compact versatility. So as I mentioned, you've got four cup holders just over there next to the driver and front passenger. You've even got two more over here, another two USB ports, some other massive uh, storage and bottle compartments on the power sliding doors. And this is pretty cool. The XLE grade, although not the top model, does come with these mesh privacy sunshades on the rear windows for the passenger driver side and passenger side. Now, when you go with models like the limited grade, you do also get that sunshade for this little window as well. That's pretty cool. So that's all we've got. The almost perfect model and trim for the 2024 Toyota Sienna, the XLE front wheel drive. Hope you enjoyed this video and review. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care.